Welcome back to another segment of ACRP TV. My name is Michael Kazi. I'm the editor in chief here. Today, our spotlight is on HIPAA is not your enemy. And we've got the right guy to talk to about uh, this issue with us. Robert Bacon is the chief compliance officer and chief privacy officer with Guardian Research Network. Robert, is HIPAA not your enemy? We all are so afraid of it. Tell us why we don't have to cower in fear about HIPAA. That's, that's right. First of all, thank you for inviting me to uh, ACRP TV. And yes, Michael, I have confirmed with federal authorities that HIPAA is in fact not the enemy of healthcare providers or any covered entity or business associate for that matter. Um, yeah, all kidding aside though, there appears to be this myth that HIPAA seeks to restrain uh, the exchange of medical information, right? This is absolutely not true. The, uh, the legislative intent of HIPAA is, is quite, quite clear, quite the opposite, promoting in, which is the, the promotion of responsible um, sharing of identifiable protected health information. And this is awfully commonly uh, referred to as protected health information or PHI. Um, so much so that uh, a month ago, so January 21, uh, HHS made proposed changes to HIPAA that would actually lead to increased uh, data access, data sharing, and uh, portability. So the old um, Spider-Man principle comes in here, the Peter Parker principle, you know, with great power comes great responsibility. Right. Um, you know, despite this, uh, despite this federal mandate that encourages data sharing, um, certain covered entities, healthcare providers, hospital systems, um, reflain, uh, sorry, remain reflexively wary of sharing PHI. Um, even with uh, HIPAA responsible partners. Is that because of the, the sanctions or just the fear of the government like the IRS or something? I mean, what, what is the, what's, what's going on out there? What's, what's going on in the collective psyche? I, yeah, no, that's, that's a great question. Um, yeah, sanctions are part of it. Um, but before I actually get to that, before I answer, there are, there are probably two um, key issues to keep in mind when you're considering um, you know, the responsible sharing of protected health information. The first question you got to ask yourself is, is the party to whom you're disclosing, uh, disclosing PHI, are they held to federal uh, HIPAA standards? Some are, um, covered entities, business associates, some are not. Um, like a great example would be uh, Google, okay? They can definitely uh, volu voluntarily uh, comply with HIPAA, but they're not uh, necessarily required to. Um, and then the second question you've got to ask is, is the information, um, is it already de-identified? Um, if it's completely de-identified, it's actually not subject to most data privacy laws, um, state, uh, federal, or even, even foreign um, laws. Um, What's an example of that kind of information? Uh, de-identified data? Yeah. Yeah, it's basically uh, medical information that has stripped out all of the um, identifiers, so name, um, okay. social security number, anything that can link it to a um, actual actual person. Gotcha. Um, but getting back to your original question. So in my experience, there's usually like two buckets of people. Um, about half have substantive concerns. And these are usually one of three things. Um, how is the, uh, the protected health information de-identified? You know, how do you really de-identify it? Is it, is it really de-identified de like you say? Um, the second would be, what is your IT infrastructure, your cybersecurity plan? Can you handle this? You know, can you, can you do this securely? And then the third one is is probably, uh, who's ultimately going to use the de-identified data? Who's giving it to? Right. Um, so that's one half. The other half of uh, largely undefined fears, right? And I guess it boils down to this viewpoint. The whole topic of this uh, call um, is that there is, I think in their point, there is finite upside and infinite downside to sharing data, right? But this is something I think I want to invert, or it should be inverted, right? I mean, by partnering with HIPAA compliant third parties who seek to responsibly uh, increase treatment options, improve patient outcomes, all these great things. The upside for responsible data sharing is infinite. And the downside is, you know, is, is somewhat limited. 
Excellent. Thank. Well, this has been very encouraging. I think uh, for people because there's there is this fear of the unknown and fear of the government and fear of just you know a big big scary regulation that, as you said, is really there to uh, promote responsible and that's the key word responsible exchange of data. So this is hopefully this will uh, relax a few 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 people out there. I want to thank you for joining us. This has been our ACRP TV spotlight on HIPAA is not your enemy. Robert Bacon, who's the chief compliance officer and chief privacy officer with the Guardian Research Network has been our special guest. Robert, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Michael.